Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen, and this is another dose of Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. So, um, it's done, and, you know, there's the whole, you know, there are, there are big groups that are very happy, and big groups that are not happy at all, and somewhere in the middle lie the rest of us. Mostly just because this year has just been exhausting. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to get burnt out. It's easy to get kind of wrapped up in and sucked into, you know, the, the negativity and the hopelessness. Now, that is normal. It's been, it's been hard. It's been really hard. And if you've had an especially hard time, I'm sorry. There's been a lot of loss this year, and it's important to be honest and acknowledge that it's been hard. And sometimes we even have to go as far as to regroup, retreat, and relax, and rest. So that's what we're going to kind of talk about today is that idea of retreat and regroup. And why don't we? Why don't we do that more often? Why is it so hard to be able to go, you know what, I can't, I I just can't right now. And I need to rest. I can't be there for other people. I need to, you know, take care of me. Now, for some, it's, you know, that feeling of, no, there are other people who need me. There are people who depend on me. I've got to be there for them. And in some cases, it is true that not everybody has the luxury to just shut off all their interactions. Maybe they're children that they need to take care of, or maybe they're adults that need care. And especially now with you know, not only COVID, but the flu season and colds and allergies and everything. So health is a very big issue right now for a lot of people. And, you know, you get exhausted. This has been a totally draining year. So when you reach that point where you find you cannot keep things together, and some of the little hints are that you start to overbook yourself and for, or forget appointments. You, you know, have things that you want to do and you just end up sitting on the couch just staring at the TV all day and you don't even realize the entire day is gone. Or maybe you have, you know, you start being kind of snippy with folks or, you know, you just want to be alone or you cry, which, I mean, one of the best things we can do for ourselves is have a good cry. I was once told that tears are the most sincere form of prayer. And we all reach those points. And it's not about being weak. It's not about, you know, well, you know, I've I've got to be able to take it. No, it's about us being human. It's about us being able to admit when we're not okay. And to be able to say, you know what? I understand that I will be all right, but I'm not all right right now. And, you know, where does that come from? You know, is it, I don't think it's so much ego as it is fear. For some, it's that idea of having the people, and especially if you're somebody who goes out and and does a lot of things for a lot of people, and you're the go-to person, and You know, everybody really, you know, just appreciates how you can always solve problems and, you know, have energy. But the thing is, you can't. Eventually, you're going to end up having to just deal with the fact that you're just as human as everybody else. And it can be hard to climb down off a pedestal that we've put ourselves on. And, you know, I mean, yeah, you hate to disappoint people. And you also, it's not comfortable admitting that you're not, you know, all things to all people. 
and that you are just as prone to being disheartened or feeling depressed or feeling, you know, hopeless because, you know, you're the one with all the advice. I swear to you, I, I spend a lot of time working with a lot of different people and I know that I reach that place where it's like, no, I can't. I, I can't be that right now. I will again, but in this moment, I just need to be me, and I just need to be authentic, and maybe I just need to cry, or maybe I just need to withdraw. The most important thing is to realize that it's okay to let that mask slip. It's okay to let people see how you manage vulnerability, because the thing is, is that we can talk to people about, you know, how to overcome despair and how to, you know, how to manage it. And, you know, you got to be authentic with it. And then when we're in that situation, the best thing we can do for other people is to allow them to see us feeling vulnerable, allow them to see us feeling despair or doubt. I mean, you know, you don't have to like, dump the whole dump truck on them, but just let them see it. Because if they can see it in you, then that means they don't have to hold themselves to an unrealistic expectation. And oh, by the way, they don't have to hold you to an unrealistic expectation. It's okay to have people see you, you know, when you're not at your best. Because otherwise, it's just a false image. It's just it is what you want people to see. And that really doesn't serve. It's not, it's not going to help if, you know, you're trying to help people through difficult times and yet you never show yourself using the tools that you, you know, you tell people to use. That means that, you know, maybe it's like, wow, if they're not using their tools, are the tools really very useful? But if somebody sees you going through it and, you know, going through something hard and you let them know, it's like, yeah, this is hard. And, you know, and I understand that sometimes using these tools isn't easy and it's still worthwhile. It's still what I go to. So when they see you actually using, you know, what it is that you encourage them to use, then often people will realize, wow. I can, you know, I sometimes have doubts, but I can be brave. And this person is being really, really brave. And it encourages people when we show them that we're vulnerable, when we allow them to help us. And it's not about, you know, how, what people think of us, because more than likely it has nothing to do with what anybody else is thinking. It has to do with what's going on up here and how we're thinking about ourselves. You know, what is it that we think that being vulnerable, you know, what does that show? Well, it shows you're human. It shows that you can be just as, as vulnerable as anybody else and that you trust your tools enough to use them. It's okay. You know, it's a tough time and as we we're finishing up 2020 and creating that that positive thing that we want to take into 2021 there's also a lot of grieving that 2020 inspired on a lot of different levels so allow yourself to grieve while you're you know planning to hit the ground running for 2021 take some time to be authentic take some time to realize that it has been a very hard year. And while there were blessings that came with it, there was also hard pieces that came with it. And as long as we can be honest about what it is that we experience and how it affects us and demonstrate, okay, this is why I encourage you to do this because I do it myself and it works. So go through whatever you need to go through. Be whoever you need to be in each and every given moment. Because 
Yes, you may feel in despair at one moment, and then you breathe, or you, you know, take a walk, or you meditate, or you talk with friends, or you do all those things you encourage other people to do, and you move through it, because on the other side of it is a gift. And maybe even if it's just that you know that you are capable of making it through those tough times, that is a pretty impressive gift. And the best part is, by being an example of what it is that you tell people, well, that takes the lesson to a whole new level. So hang in there. We're almost done with it. And if you need to take some time for yourself, please do so as much as you can. We'll make it. We're in this together. So thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comments section. You can also connect, contact me, connect with me, well, both, uh, through links in the description. There's my Discord. You can follow me on Twitter. You can reach me through my Facebook group, Medicine Walk with Dr. Eileen, and my email address is there. And so if you have any questions or a topic that you'd like me to cover, then please let me know. Also, if you like the video, then please like the video. And if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. On Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturday nights, I have a live stream that I do on Twitch. So if you would like to come over there and join the party and, you know, we answer questions back and forth and have, you know, dialogue different topics. So if you're up for that, then the link for that is also in the description. So again, thank you for joining me. As always, I wish you balance and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you, and see you next time. Bye.